Hello guys, S2W here as your average consumer with your casual consumer's review. For this video, I was able to pick up arguably one of the most beautiful collaborative silhouettes from the brand Adidas. As we all know during the November of last year, multifunctional and lifestyle brand Kith has collaborated with Adidas alone to debut the first Adidas Ultra Boost mid silhouette to the world. Even after a year later, that specific multicolor colorway is probably considered as one of the best looking Ultra Boost that has ever came out. This year for Black Friday 2017, Kith has teamed up with contemporary label Non-Native from Tokyo, Japan along with Adidas again for this collaboration. It's another fire design of the Ultra Boost Mid family launched exclusively at their respective retailers. Today, I have the Adidas Ultra Boost Mid ATR All Terrain by Kith and Non-Native here for a review. I'm not entirely sure if this collaboration is part of the sneaker exchange program that Adidas has created for this year in 2017, where on each month, two popular retailers were to come together to create two sneakers in a collective effort. But Kith and Non-Native did create a winter collection and two sneakers. I was able to grab the more sought out after contemporary inspired model here for a review, whereas the other shoe was the Twin Strike ADV representing the retro inspired side of the spectrum. Due to the releases coinciding with Black Friday, this model as you can probably guess by now is done in mostly black as well. But will this silhouette that we have here today create the same impact that it first debuted? Let's take a closer look at these sneakers. In my opinion, the mid silhouette is my favorite model of the Ultra Boost in terms of looks that it offers and the comfort that it gives us. On this pair, we will witness the base model of how the original Ultra Boost mid looks like, with a one piece knit upper that slowly curves up high enough to meet our ankles like what a mid height sneaker offers. Also constructed with a stretchy ribbed sock like collar like any other mid silhouette that will hug closely to our ankles. For this specific model though, Kith has worked with Adidas to create a new densely knitting technique for this upper, with a heavy gauge wool blend prime knit in black to protect us from the harsh winter weather by retaining warmth. I would assume because the release coincided with Black Friday, they've decided to make this model with a monochrome base, but as we can see, it's not entirely pitch black. With the influence of the Japanese heritage from non-native, they featured an asymmetrical patchwork inspired design that spreads out all over the upper to imitate a cultural and artificial look. Designs on the left pair is different on the right, so if you're not into shoes that mirrors each other, this might not be your cup of tea. However, the excitement to this patchwork design is that it's actually done with 3M reflective yarn. What that means is that under certain lighting conditions, or specifically with flash photography, these shoes will light up like a charm. At certain areas around this sneaker, we'll see a black taped panel right above the edges of the midsole all around the sneaker, just like what the previous Ultra Boost mid had. I'm not going to lie, the color choice and material of this overlay feels a lot like duct tape. But jokes aside, I would assume it's strategically placed here to not only protect our shoes from water splashes getting into the fabric, but also adds a bit of structural elements to keep our feet locked down within the shoe. Also a little disappointed with poor quality checks, where there's a few excess splash of glue marks on this overlay, but it is what it is, it's a lot easier to spot because this is in black. Now like any other mid silhouettes, this Ultra Boost sports a cageless side panel. We will witness a few more overlays here in the form of three stripes on both sides of the sneaker, presenting the shoe with the Adidas branding on it. Moreover, the lacing system of this shoe has not changed as well from the previous Ultra Boost mids, where they laced the thin rope laces into the knit upper through the durable tape overlay, so when we tighten up the shoes, the knit won't tear easily. The rope laces hooked on this pair is 3M reflective as well with metal aglets, and if you don't like these laces, they do come with a separate bag filled with an all black flat laces, with metal lace tips again that you can swap out with. And as we continue to move up to the shoes, there is a small puffy tongue layer right under the laces and located in front of our ankles. On top of this tongue is a nylon tongue tab with branded logos. On the left pair, we will see the letter N from non-native, whereas on the right pair, we will see the letters RF, which is the initials of the founder of Kit, Ronnie Fige. Right under their co-branding is the iconic consortium hole punch, and on the other side of this nylon tab, we will see the Adidas Sport Performance logo on both shoes. Near the back of the sneakers, we will continue to see the famous Ultra Boost branded 3D molded TPU heel cup to further stabilize our feet within the shoe. This fit frame is done in matte, just like most of the original or regular heel cups of the Ultra Boost models. At the back of the sneakers, we have a pull tab done in black with 3M reflective 3 stripes branding printed on it. And of course, the pull tab here is to help us put on the sneakers more easily. Inside the shoe, we have a regular Ultra Boost insole but designed with this repeating kit and non-native logo all over the surface, with an Adidas Sport Performance logo on the heel area. It's also slightly padded at the inner lining heel area, and to my surprise, there's also some 3M yarn inside the sneakers. 
Then looking at the midsole of the sneakers, they are created with boost cushioning obviously. Known for its high energy returning properties and cloud-like bouncy comfort, most recognized as one of the most comfortable cushioning out there, the base substance is always white in color, but for this Black Friday release, they have colored the midsole black to blend in with the overall colorway on its upper. Flipping over the shoes, to further prepare for winter conditions, this model is equipped with an ATR Continental rubber outsole, hence the all-terrain name in its name. This also is noticeably more thick than the regular rubber outsoles of the Ultra Boost, or I guess it uses the same one as the ATR Ultra Boost mids that came out a few months ago from this video's upload date. Essentially, they've taken the Ultra Boost mid ATR's bottom and stuck it on this OG mid silhouette. To me, it's like giving back the rightful name of the Ultra Boost ATR mid to the Ultra Boost mid, as this mid silhouette came out last year in 2016, whereas the ATR mids only came in the fall of 2017. Man, that was a mouthful. But I digress, the treads on these are much more robust with its thickness for more traction against seasonal elements, whether it's rain or snow with the famous torsion system bar at the midfoot area to give support and stability to the sneaker. Anyways, here are some Adidas Ultra Boost Mid ATR All Terrain by Kith and Non Native Fit Footage. Fit wise, I gambled and went true to size as I was able to fit the Ultra Boost Mid run through times without going half size up like I did on my Kith Ultra Boost Mid. Honestly, this version I think I should have half sized up. The knit upper on this pair reminds me a lot like the first mids that Kith debuted. I can still fit in these, but the ankle collar area in the midfoot is a bit constricting, whereas the run through times mid was looser for me. But this just shows, getting true to size would work as well, but if you have wide feet like me, going up half a size shouldn't be a problem. Comfort wise, they fit just like how an ultra boost would feel, but with an ATR outsole. It'll noticeably feel firmer on feet when the boost is compressing down, and like what I've said in my ATR mid review, it feels like the boost is a bit less bouncy as if the thick upper has absorbed some impact. But that's just nitpicking because overall, the cushioning feels pretty much alike from what a normal ultra boost would feel. It's really not that noticeable. My feet felt pretty warm while wearing these though, so if it was made for the colder months like they've aimed for, then it sure is a beautiful colorway and silhouette to rock in. Just not sure if it will be great in excess snow or rain, because it didn't say anything as being water resistant. Price wise, these were 240 US dollars. I live in Canada and after shipping, taxes, duty, and conversion, this in the end cost me at least 400 Canadian dollars. I personally bought these to wear, but I'm not entirely sure if it was the best decision to make because I totally forgot how bad our Canadian dollar was, and 400 is a lot of money especially for an ultra boost. I can only look on the bright side as it's an exclusive item by Kith and non-native, and in my opinion, is most likely the best looking Adidas collaborative silhouette created in 2017. As always, throw me some likes if you like this video, and let me know in the comments if you copped a pair as well. Cause not only does this look great in normal lighting, but man oh man, the 3M reflective sheen on this pair is absolutely insane. That's it for today, S2W, signing off.